Okay, here we are for Ultron bearing problem number two. We have a well, where's part number? Zero seven seven zero seven oh five. The problem with this bearing is we have our brand new one here, just out of the box from uh, TZK or whatever that is. And the problem we're going to run into is when you measure these flanges, we get uh, roughly here about 2.028, roughly. Okay, 2.028 for the new bearing. And we have our worn factory bearing that's kind of old and rubber's falling off, but it still was working sort of, kind of. And that one, if you'll notice here, is 1.927. So much thinner. And the problem we're having, and this is the second time this has happened, is when you put the factory bearing on the drive shaft, and cinch it down with the companion shaft, uh, companion plan shaft, it turns just fine. Well, you have the thicker one, you put it on there, you do the same thing, it binds up because this, with the little rubber piece on it, just jams against the housing. The problem is, this flange is too long, and that flange is too long. Or too, yeah, too long. That's uh, all there is. The, the bearing's fine, the rubber's fine, it's just the flanges that are causing the problem. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stuff this full of paper towel and take it to the belt sander. I'm going to grind them down because I'm bound and determined to get this on tonight. Uh, but yeah, it would be nice if we could get that fixed. Alrighty.